On November 17, 2023, London's brand new $5 billion super sewer, Thames Tideway Tunnel, is set to be revealed. It is said to be a huge engineering achievement that would reshape its environmental and infrastructural landscape. This incredible tunnel is groundbreaking in all dimensions, designed to neutralize the sewage problem that has been going on in London for centuries. This project is intended to substantially improve the cleanliness of the River Thames. This super sewer is about 15.5 miles long and wide enough to accommodate two double-decker buses at the same time. Even though it is hidden from the public eye, it's as big and complicated as some of London's famous buildings and structures. What is the Thames Tideway Tunnel? How was it designed and built? What is the groundbreaking engineering that is used in its design? And how will it impact the future of London? The Thames Tideway Tunnel, popularly referred to as the Super Sewer, started as a solution to the problems of London's sewage system. Joseph Bazalgette created a sewage system that London has relied on ever since the 1860s. This particular sewage system was a direct response to the overwhelming stench and pollution known as the Great Stink of 1858. At the time it was built, it was functioning perfectly because it only had to cater to a population of 4 million. The population of London currently stands at approximately 9 million people. Sadly, an alarming 44 million tons of untreated sewage and rainwater flow into the Thames every year. As a result, this not only causes substantial harm to the environment, but also to the health of London's residents. There is an unbearable smell gracing the riverbanks, and a lot of fish are being killed due to deoxygenation. Wet wipes, alongside sewage and rainwater, contribute to river pollution, creating unsightly accumulations in areas like Hammersmith Bridge. Baselget Tunnel Limited, BTL, is the authorized organization entrusted with the financial management, construction, maintenance, and operation of the 15.5-mile tunnel. After getting the license, the BTL also operates under the name Tideway. Investors like Allianz, Amber Infrastructure, Delmore Capital, and DIF are supporting it. There are also joint ventures overseeing the construction of this project, and the successful contractors were announced in February 2015. Costain, Vinci Construction Grands Projects, and Banshee Solentanch are monitoring it in East London. Flow, Ferrovial, and Lang O'Rourke is overseeing Central London and BMB in West London. The Thames Tideway project commenced its groundbreaking phase in 2016 with the aim of being completed in 2024. However, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, its completion date has been moved to early 2025. While the delay is disappointing, it is to ensure the safety of workers and the project's overall success. The extension will enable meticulous planning and implementation with a focus on prioritizing health and quality in this crucial infrastructure initiative. In June 2018, the first concrete segments were set in place, and by early 2020, the tunnel had progressed rapidly. Major milestones achieved include the completion of primary tunneling works, secondary lining, and shaft cover slabs at five sites. Tideway's construction is due to finish by next summer as part of plans to have it operational by 2024 and fully functioning in 2025. Approximately, it saves about 95% of the sewage channeled to the Thames each year. Early estimates on construction costs reached only 3.8 billion pounds, while preparatory works took about 1.1 million pounds. The additional costs resulting from the COVID-19 pandemic amounted to 233 million pounds. As per the 2021-2022 annual report, it has been updated to 4.3 billion pounds. Let's now take a look at the design and features of this amazing super sewer. The Thames Tideway Tunnel will be 24 feet wide and stretch over 16 miles. It starts at about 98 feet below ground in Acton, west of London. As it extends through inner London, its depth gradually increases, descending to a remarkable 230 feet below ground at Abbey Mills in the east, ultimately leading to the Becton Sewage Treatment Works. This tunnel is designed to handle 34 of the most heavily polluted sewer overflows. 
Initially, this facility is expected to run only approximately 3.7% of the time, four days per year. But this could rise gradually due to reasons such as global warming and a growing population. In order to address this issue, the implementation of new regulations mandates the installation of distinct drainage systems for various areas, such as streets, parking lots, expansive roofs, and even building roofs. This helps owners save money and is now mandatory for all new developments. The tunnel will efficiently transport the combined sewer water all the way from Stratford to East Ham, ensuring its seamless flow to the Becton Sewage Treatment Works. After treatment, the water will be released into the Thames Estuary. The Task Force on Climate-Related Financial Disclosure TCFD, had questions about the sustainability and environmental impact of this project. Tideway, the company in charge of the construction of the Thames Tideway Tunnel, released a very detailed response to these concerns. The company conducted a meticulous social impact analysis, putting into quantity the profound social value of the project. They gave the Environmental, Social and Governance ESG impact of the Thames Tideway Tunnel. S&P, a recognized authority in financial evaluation, has significantly upgraded Tideway's ESG evaluation, giving it a score of 77. Additionally, Tideway laid out a clear carbon target and has rigorously implemented monitoring and reporting mechanisms. These measures are in place to ensure that the project maintains a carbon footprint within the envisaged range of approximately 770,000 metric tons of CO2 equivalent. The CEO, Andy Mitchell, continues to emphasize the mission of the project, which is to divert pollution away from the Thames. This provides for a brighter, healthier future for London. Meanwhile, Chair Sir Neville Sims talks about the remarkable strides made in the past year. He draws attention to the crucial testing phase of the new infrastructure and the benefits of the delivery model. This kind of information encourages long-term private investment. The environmental benefits of this project are many. London presently releases 40 million tons of untreated raw sewage into the Thames every year. The addition of this new infrastructure not only enhances the original Joseph Bazalgette sewage system, but also lengthens its lifespan. It will conveniently cater to the constantly growing population of London. Tideway also created seven new public spaces above the tunnel, showing its commitment to serving the public. The first of these spaces is located at Putney Embankment and is already accessible to the public. This project, when complete, will greatly reduce litter and bad smells, improve public health and reduce the number of dead fish in dirty waters. Throughout the project, nearly 650 cleanup efforts along the riverside have happened. The process is estimated to have pulled out approximately 100,000 plastic bottles from the river. Moreover, two new trees had to be planted for every tree that was cut down during construction. This means roughly 400 trees of different types will be found in parks all around London. Lastly, three acres of new riverside land will become accessible to the public in central and west London. This project will not only enhance the environment, but also numerous other areas. This has created 4,000 permanent jobs and 100 apprenticeships. This is estimated to have created annual benefits of between 7.4 billion pounds and 12.7 billion pounds over around 20 years. It will also result in a cleaner Thames River, which enhances environmental tourism within the London region. The commercial fishing sector will also be protected and enabled to continue to exist. What do you think about the Super Sewer Project? Let us know in the comments section. Thank you for watching and please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon.